Today, we're gonna be seeing how much alien life we can find in Space Engine. Space Engine does a very, very good job at simulating life in different conditions, and there's even different types of life that we can find. So we're gonna go to three different galaxies today and just take a look around and see what we can find. Make sure you watch to the end because we're gonna be visiting NGC 6050, which is actually three galaxies all combined together into one kind of super galaxy. But to start us off, you know it, you love it. We're gonna be starting in the Milky Way galaxy. Okay, so here we are at Earth, but we're gonna just zoom out from Earth. Let's turn on HDR lighting so we can kind of see the stars. Let's just zoom out until we can kind of see the entire galaxy at once. We're starting to see it there and there it is. So here is the Milky Way galaxy in Space Engine. Okay, so Earth is positioned right here in the Milky Way. So I'm gonna go the exact opposite, like right around here. Uh, we're gonna fly in there. Uh, we're gonna start by just looking around, but then we will definitely start searching for life and see if we can see anything cool. So right now I'm just clicking on different stars and seeing what kind of planets are there. And it looks like this one actually has life. Uh, if it shows up green, that means there is a planet with life and it's actually a moon. Okay, so this is subglacial life. This is the probably the most common type of life in Space Engine where it kind of exists under ice. So this is gonna be our first alien life object of the video, but this isn't as exciting as some of the other types of life we can find. And we can see, well, okay, this view on here looking up and the view of that planet there is actually really cool. Oh, wow. I wanna be in night. So there's this star, we'll wait for that. It's actually a binary system, so we might, oh, whoa, look, it's actually, instead of setting, it's going in a circle. So I wanna zoom out and see this. It looks like it's rotating in a way where there's one part that's always lit by, cause it's a binary system maybe. Um, okay, so that's our first thing. We found life without even searching for it. We just were clicking around. That's pretty cool. Let's go back to HDR. So that was pretty much directly opposite of Earth. Let's fly towards the center of the Milky Way. I'm gonna click around a little more. If we see any green, we'll go to it, but otherwise we might do a search. Oh, wow. Okay, wait, there's a black hole here. Hold on, I wanna see this. Check that out, a black hole and star binary together. You can see how much bigger the star is than the black hole. Okay, anyway, let's search for life around this area. So we're gonna do that by going to the filter settings, setting our life to multicellular, and we'll go organic. Organic is carbon-based, and if it's exotic, that would mean it's a life that's not carbon-based, so you don't need the same parameters like water and good temperature for life to exist so let's go organic for now let's see are these going to be subglacial that one's subglacial this one's aerial okay so this is one of the cool ones where on a gas giant you can actually get life in this game whoa okay look at all the colors you can see it is multicellular so there could be little organisms kind of like floating around through the air on this gas giant which is really really cool actually okay before we go to the next galaxy i'm going to search for an earth-like planet so we're going to set the parameters to a temperate marine terra which are the same parameters that earth has in this game and then we will keep it on organic life search this one's a harder one to search we're gonna go within 400 light years and we will see what comes up okay so it looks like within 400 light years of this aerial gas giant there is one system that has an earth-like planet it is a three star system and this doesn't look a lot like earth but it has very similar properties this is a very pretty planet actually okay let's go land on it because i want to see what the surface of this looks like this actually reminds me a lot of mars if you look at the coloring this one almost looks like a half terraform Mars because we don't really have the plant life yet. But the way the red atmosphere is interacting with the blue water makes the water look purple. But I bet when we get closer, it's going to be blue. Yeah, check that out. So it's got a pink atmosphere. It's like reddish pink. And that mixed with the blue water is making the water look super like purplish pink. Very, very cool. Um, what's our ground color? Oh, it's less red than I thought it was going to be. It's more like a yellow, like a dull tan color. This is just a very, very vibrant atmosphere. And you can see it's even got like colorful rings. This is kind of cool. Okay. Um, so there is some of the alien life planets that could exist in the Milky Way. Space Engine is a fictional model of the universe, but it tries to be realistic where it can. So now we're going to go over to the Andromeda Galaxy, which is probably the most famous galaxy besides the Milky Way, and see what kind of life we can find there. So here is the Andromeda Galaxy. Let's try to get one like kind of on the edge. Okay, I actually want to try searching for exotic life so this is life that is not like it's not carbon based i'm pretty sure if someone knows what this totally means let me know in the comments but i'm pretty sure it just means it's not carbon based 
So let's see what a, an exotic life planet looks like. So this is exotic life marine, which means it would be in the oceans, but I don't see any water on here. Uh, maybe there's like very, very little amounts of water on here somewhere. Oh, wow. This planet is so pretty. I'm trying to see where the exotic life would live because it says marine right here. I am not sure. Let's see if we can find another one. Okay. Exotic, multicellular, marine, and terrestrial. Okay. So this planet here supposedly has life that is not carbon-based on in both the oceans and on land, but it looks like it's covered in clouds. Yes. Okay. So here is a exotic life planet and it's like weird because there's no, there's no plants. If it's a super earth-like planet, space Space engine will put plants on it, but this is an organic life. So I don't really know what that kind of life would look like. This is kind of cool. It's got little islands. Wow. Okay. That's a very pretty planet too. Um, let's search for one more earth-like planet in Andromeda, and then we will go to NGC 6050, the three kind of galaxy cluster system. And we'll see what we can find there. We're going to set this to temperate marine Terra, and we want doesn't matter for exotic life and organic life. We want multicellular any biome okay so there were two within 400 light years let's see which one looks more earth-like that one or let's go this one okay so this is a very very earth-like planet the earth similarity index on this planet is a 90.1 percent which means that is 90 percent like earth and you can see it actually does simulate the plants here yeah you can see little plants it's like grass it is tidally locked however so you'll see if i play time um it doesn't have a day and night cycle the same side always faces its star which is very very bad for life actually because this side's going to be super hot and this side will be really really cold so i would say most of the life's gonna exist probably right here between the day and the night we are now going to go to ngc 6050 and you can see that here wow okay so there are actually three different galaxies all kind of touching each other very very cool uh someone pointed out that i should go here on one of my streams and it is awesome so we're gonna go in each of the galaxies and find one planet with life in each of them this one almost looks the most dense like it's got the most kind of stars clustered together so let's go in this one first so this is a nebula. Um, so let's search for life near this nebula. I'm gonna go in it and then search for life and see what the closest life is. Okay, you can see how many planets are, there are with life. And this may seem like a lot, but remember we're going within 400 light years and imagine how many planets there are. Like clicking through, it's gonna be hard to find different planets with life. And of these, most of these are subglacial, which is not anything really interesting. They're pretty much just ice rocks with little tiny microscopic like bacteria pretty much that exists somewhere in it i'm gonna search for a uh, earth-like planet here okay so there are actually three which is very very high usually there's zero or one this one has this earth similarity index of 90 percent and okay wow 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 the views you can get uh with these three galaxy setup is actually really really cool so i'm gonna go down and land on the planet i'm gonna wait for it to be night and you can see the way the different galaxies look look you can see all three the galaxy we're in i think going across the entire sky and then a third galaxy that is crazy insane views you can get i want to go to let's see what galaxy were we part of yeah we were part of that central galaxy so i want to see if i go to like up here on this edge then we can look down and kind of see this whole collision thing happening so i'm gonna search for an earth-like planet right here okay so there's two let's see which one is more earth-like this one is a 79 this one's 86 percent okay so neither of them are super high but this still has life and is very similar to earth and it is in our little area we're looking for so let's go land on the night side and see what we can see okay so this is similar to earth in the way the night sky would look because it's got a similar sized atmosphere check this out it would be very very hard actually to make out the other stars because these would be so bright and dominant in the sky so you can see the galaxy we're part of kind of as a plane across the sky and then there's this entire galaxy that you have a huge view of and then this one up here too super dense that is so cool actually wow okay so that is space engine and the different kinds of life you can find if you guys want to see more of this uh let me know what galaxies you'd like me to go look at for life next thank you all so much for watching this video let me know what galaxies you want to see in the next one leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video